how to choose the right television for you. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We've come to Curry's in Staples Corner, North London, to look at some of the things you should consider when choosing the centrepiece of the home entertainment system, the TV. Step 1. What size? Size matters, but it's not always the bigger the better. Today's TVs range from intimate tabletop models to wall size giants. Think about the type of viewing the TV will be used for. Is it a bedroom set for nighttime viewing? If so, does it really need to be able to produce more light than the sun and produce the same number of decibels as a jumbo jet? If it's going to be the centrepiece of a home cinema system, make sure you are aware how much room you have. This is not just the room required for the TV itself. Also consider where you will be sitting. What is the use of a 60-inch screen if you'll be sat three feet away? As a general rule, try to ensure the distance between the screen and your main seating area is between one and a half to three times the width of your screen. So if you have a 32-inch screen, then you should be between 48 and 96 inches away. That's four to eight feet. Step two, flat panel screens. The modern front room is currently the domain of the flat panel screen. For those who can afford them, these sleek yet often massive screens provide the ultimate home theatre experience, while wall mounting a flat panel allows a living room to enjoy a bigger screen than was ever possible before. Another advantage of new flat panel models is that most of them are equipped to deal with HD television signals. There are two types of flat panel screens, plasma screens and LCD screens. Plasma. The pictures on a plasma screen are formed by an array of tiny gas cells in the screen that glow in different colours to make up the on-screen image. Plasma screens can come in huge sizes, but due to the way they operate, this can also lead to huge energy bills. Also, despite their sleek appearance, these models can be very heavy, making them difficult to transport and install. To get the best out of a plasma screen, you will really need a digital television signal. Conventional analogue TV signals can look infuriatingly poor on these expensive sets. LCD LCD stands for Liquid Crystal Display. Images on the screen are made by light being shone through a matrix of tiny liquid crystals. One advantage of LCD TVs is the fact that even though they do come in large sizes, they are also available in smaller sizes. LCD technology uses much less electricity than similar sized plasma TVs. Again, LCDs perform best with a digital signal. One problem that is experienced on many LCD screens is poor performance when showing images that have a lot of black in them. When choosing an LCD screen, ask about the set's contrast ratio, as this gives you an idea about how well it handles colours. LCD screens often look brighter than plasma screens. Step 3. Other screens. Rear projection. For a huge screen at a relatively cheap price, rear projection TVs could well be the models for you. These models have the image reflected onto the back of the screen via a mirror in the back of the set. Rear projection televisions can also offer the best dark images as they have less of the problems with showing black associated with LCD and plasma. However, these models often have duller colours than plasma and LCD and obviously take up more room due to the technology within the set. These models only tend to come with large screen sizes. CRT. Cathode ray tubes or CRT TVs are the conventional televisions we all grew up with. They are cheaper than the newer varieties and still have a lot to commend them to the consumer. The picture quality can be excellent, they last longer than other technologies and perform well with an analogue signal. On the other hand, the bulkiness of CRT sets mean that they are only practical up to a certain screen size and they don't quite look as trendy at the centre of a modern home cinema system. Step 4. Widescreen. Widescreen TVs show pictures in a 16-9 ratio, like a cinema screen. Traditionally, TV was shown in the narrower 4-3 ratio, but increasingly it is being broadcast in a widescreen format. And so most new TVs are widescreen. When choosing a widescreen TV, look out for the auto format option. This means the TV will automatically detect the best format to show programmes in. Step 5. Digital. TV is going digital. It is already happening, so you may as well get on the train before it leaves without you. Digital TV means more channels, greater interactivity, and improved sound and vision. You do not have to buy into a digital provider's package to benefit from digital TV. 
Freeview offers over 30 channels of television free of subscription charges. To move into the digital age, you either buy a separate set-top or you can purchase a TV with integrated digital TV, meaning that the set will automatically find the digital channels available to you. Step 6. HD TV. The premier digital signal is HD or high definition. High definition TV offers a picture so clear that you will need a large TV to properly appreciate it. At its highest resolution, an HD set can display 10 times the picture information of a normal TV set. However, there are a few important caveats that consumers should be aware of before investing in HD. Do you have an HD receiver? Confusingly, the fact that you have an HD-ready TV does not mean that you'll be able to watch HD television. The TV is essentially a monitor, and without an HD receiver, you will not have the correct signal coming to your TV. Different resolutions. There are different standards of HD televisions, and if a set is labelled as HD-ready, this means it meets the minimum standard. There are three standards to be aware of, 720p, 1080i, and 1080p. The number refers to the amount of information on the screen, so 1080 is the most detailed. The I and P refer to how the information is displayed. Generally P, or progressive, is considered better than I, or interlaced. Progressive imitates a smooth frame transition of film. Interlaced means that the frames are mixed together as in normal TV. Is it really worth it? HD has been around since the 1990s, but it still has some way to go before it dominates broadcast TV. In many ways, it's still an emerging technology, and as such, the prices can be huge. HD is a good selection if you want the latest home movie, gaming, sound, and television experience. But if you're prepared to wait, the prices are sure to come down. Step 7. Connectivity. To fully integrate your TV with all your home entertainment equipment, you will need a good number and array of sockets on your TV. Among the most important are SCART. SCART sockets are the best way to connect traditional DVD players, games consoles and digital boxes to your TV. Work out what you're going to be attracting to the TV, and then make sure your set has enough of these sockets to do everything you need. HDMI HDMI sockets do what SCART sockets do for uncompressed high-definition connection, so HD games consoles, signal receivers, DVD players can all use these connections. If you are looking to maximise the benefits of HD, Look for as many of these sockets as you will need. VGA input. This connection allows you to connect your computer to the TV. In this multimedia age, why sit at a computer desk to surf the net when you can view its content from your brand new TV? Step 8. In-store tips. While you are in store, there are a few things you can do to help choose the right telly. Viewing angles. Flat panel technology may look fantastic front on, but try watching it from the side or directly below, to check the TV's viewing angles. Imagine the layout of your room at home. Will everybody get a good view? Picture and colour quality. Bring in a selection of your home DVDs to check the picture and colour quality of sets you are considering. Films with fast-moving sequences, detailed special effects and luxuriant colours will help you assess your TV's performance. Extra offers. Look out for stores that offer warranties and installation deals. If you're spending the money, you want all the after-sales care there is on offer. Done.